another great video. Guess it's time to clean up. Papa Hasbro? What are you doing here? Please, Papa Hasbro. I just opened a bunch of them. Can I have a little break? Welcome, everyone, to another Children of Alara video. I'm Crow, and we've got more secret layers. Whew. The Super Drop Anniversary Edition Secret Layer. So you've got a lot of interesting drops uh, in this set. I'm just kind of organizing them all. And we are going to open them all up right here, right now. And we're going to start things off with, we hope you like squirrels. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're you know new and you want to see more of this stuff we'd love to have you plus we're doing giveaways 2021 like i said is the year of the giveaways we've already given away a caldime set booster box and it's just going to keep on going from there but we really do hope that you like squirrels uh, i remember uh, when I first was like, I think I'm going to make a squirrel tribal deck. Oh, this only comes in foil. And, oh, look, I think they, they definitely, they listened to the people. Uh, I'm not saying that they listened to us, but we've been ranting and raving about, not raving, but we've been ranting about how it was really hard to get these foils out because they would curl. I'm filming this as soon, like, two days after I have gotten my super drop. So I'm hoping to just film this and get these in uh, sleeves, get them inside the binder, and yeah. So we got Cheddar Squirrels, we got Croson Beast, which is a squirrel beast, as you can see. We got Squirrel Mob, they, they look like they mean business. We got Squirrel Wrangler, we got Swarm Yard, which I think is the most expensive card out of this entire drop. We got some lovely squirrel tokens. Oh, it's not it's not uh, double sided. It's just uh, one sided. Well, if I'm running, gonna run squirrels. That's I think the token that I'm gonna run for, uh, run with rather. Okay. And of course, with every single secret layer, we get the secret layer secret card. Let's see. Is it gonna be a walker? Is it gonna be something? What, what would make sense? I don't know. Nissa. Wow. Chang. Again, with the Jang. Okie dokie. So that was, we hope you like squirrels. Uh, again, I, I don't know if um, Jang was necessarily themed. I swear to God, if you get that in every single uh, secret layer that involves animals, just wow, wow, wow. Uh, next up, we got a box of rocks. 
and a Box of Rocks Foil Edition. Because again, as you know, a lot of these came in, at least th that's, that's now the thing that they're doing, is they're doing um, non-foil and foil versions of all these secret layer drops. So there's that. But uh, Box of Rocks, I think uh, what you can kind of expect from this one is just a bunch of mana rocks. And then honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we got Karn as the walker. Oh man, but it's still it's still got the stickiness issue. You see that? Dang. Alright, there we go. Okie dokie. If they even put this one in plastic. Crazy. You know it's non-foil. So these are gonna be all your uh your go-to mana rocks for the most part. You got uh, Arcane Signet, Chromatic Lantern, which is dope, Commander Sphere, if you run that, Dark Steel Ingot, again, if you run that, and then Gilded Lotus, which is pretty cool. And let's see, is it, oh, you see that? Oh, wow, oh, it's stuck down, it's crazy. Uh, is it Karn, let's see. Oh, it's not, it's Chandra. That is one that, you know, if you've been watching the channel, uh, we do not have. So I'm happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. And now we move over to the foil edition, which is right here. All right. And again, these are just going to be the foil editions of those cards. So we're just going to quickly skim over all that you don't really think so you, you know, you've seen it once you've seen it a million times you know, that one opened a lot easier and here we go feels a lot thicker than the non-foil version all right oops oops So we got Arcane Signet, Chromatic Lantern, Commander Sphere, Dark Steel Ingot, and Gilded Lotus. All in foil. And the special walker, Karn. It's gotta be Karn, right? Oh, okay, Chandra, I guess. That's really wasn't I, what I was expecting. I, I guess again it's themed, it's not so secret. Um, I can tell you that, that Chandra is probably gonna tank in price because that I think is the secret layer that everyone wanted to get. Um, next up, which I think I know what's inside this one in terms of the uh, secret card. Um, do I have the right one? <laughs> uh, whoopsies. Uh, see, I'm, I'm kind of jumping the gun here because I'm so excited. Uh, we got Artist Series, Seb McKinnon, Normal, and Foil, and I accidentally started to open the foil one, but we we don't want to. We want to just enjoy that non-foil goodness, that non-curly, that non-curliness. There we go. All right, all right. Seb McKinnon, uh, probably one of the most proclaimed MTG artists out there. Uh, you know his his work is you can spot it a mile away. Just look at that. Wow. Oh, man. If I wanted to outfit a deck with all these swamps, imagine the pretty penny that it would cost me. We'll, we'll find out in just a second. All right. Let's see. We got a swamp, which is a basic swamp. We got Sow of Temptation. We got Damnation, which is card. We got Enchanted Evening. All great cards in that fresh, fresh Seven Kitten artwork. Uh, he, he actually did a Kickstarter for um, that artwork. I think on Playmats you can get like the, um, the finalized art and then you can get the sketch art. So it's like really dope. Really, really dope. 
And for the special card, I think it's like an alternate art um, swamp or something. Oh, it's just another swamp. Oh, that's cool. You get two swamps. That's that's pretty cool. I'm 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 good with that. That's dope. So if you want to outfit a deck, you don't have to buy like an insane amount of them. Well, if you knew what you were getting, that is. Uh, if you didn't know, then you know you end up buying thirty of those secret layers for for that swamp, um, and then you end up with sixty of them. And then we got the foil edition. So like I said, I was a little eager to open uh, just because I'm just I'm just dying to jump into it, you know? I'm dying to see this this artwork firsthand on these cards. Alright, so we got the Foil Swamp, which, my god, Foil Sorrow of Temptations, Foil Damnation, which, god, beautiful, beautiful, and then Foil Enchanted Evening, and as we know, it's just going to be a Foil Swamp, right? It's got to be. Yep, Foil Swamp. Excellent. So, you know what? Here I was going into it, I was like, man, if I wanted to outfit an entire deck... Those swamps. I've got four of them. That's what? What? That's pretty good. Next up, we have another one of those solo drops. Party Heart Shred Harder. This one is probably the one that I personally was the most excited about. Um, just because it's it's just so uh, different than anything else you've seen in Magic. You know, it's, it's like, all right, you guys are really... You're catering to a very large crowd. I mean, we, we knew that with um, the uh, Walking Dead, but like this is pretty dope. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. Like, what? I just, I just can't. I wish it came in foil, but it didn't. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we have anguish on making. You see, you got the you got the effect right there. You've got the mana cost right there. Instant assassin's trophy, which is just another absolutely amazing card. Decimate again, another absolutely phenomenal card. Just dreadbore, another staple. And then was that Thraxima? Uh, see, I, I, I've never even played with him. But he's the, yeah, he's the Grixis one. So good. So good. Wow. So dope. God. I am just over the moon about that. That artwork and that styling. So cool. And then the card. Oh, yeah, Angrath. That makes sense. That's thematic. We've already, uh, we've already pulled Angrath, though, so... In terms of wow factor, that's a that's a dupe. I wonder if you could have gotten a Liliana in there, because that's that's pretty that's pretty metal, right? And last but not least, how about we chill for some happy little gathering, both non-foil and foil. Uh, this this as well. I mean, whenever my uh, whenever my TV goes into sleep mode. This is the channel that it, it kind of tunes into. So, like, if I shut off my PlayStation um, or any of my gaming consoles, and I don't shut off the TV, this is what my uh, this is what my TV kind of tunes into. Oh yeah, I've got some. Now, now these these might just seem like basic lands, but if you see right here, that's right, Bob Ross. Bob Ross, obviously, you know, R.I.P. Bob Ross. Uh, it's not like he knew that this was going to happen. Um, but Wizards somehow made it a thing. I remember this was like an alternate art card that you could get for like, you know, pennies on the dollar. But now it's official. You got two planes. You got two. Oh, man, that's really gorgeous. 
Got two highlands. Got two swamps. Yeah. Got two mountains. And you got some happy little trees. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Love it. And then what do we have as the secret card? I think, it, what is it, an Evolving Wild? I think it's an Evolving Wilds in the Bob part. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. We don't make mistakes, just happy little accents. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That's the mantra I try to live my life every single day. Now we got the foil edition. Again, um, outfitting a deck with uh, all these lands probably gonna cost you a pretty little penny. Um, but you know, that's just the it's just the nature of the game. That's I mean that's ideally what secret layer should be. You know, that's the reason why I was so excited for the uh, Party Hard Tread Harder, because so many of those cards are actually utilized. Um, and it's so amazing to have those cool, cool alternate frames and arts and just look to all of those cards. Those are, all of those are probably immediately going into crash. So there's that. Uh, again, we get the foil planes. Ooh. Island, beautiful. Oh my god, I need to get these sleeves like ASAP. Little swamps, beautiful. Oh, I'm guessing that mountain's gonna go for a lot. Uh, and foil forest. And then we've got four evolving wilds. So cool, so dope. So sick. Uh, you know, um, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm glad that we, I'm glad the way that I did it. Um, I think the squirrel one, I, I was initially like really hyped for it. I was like, oh, that's interesting squirrel, squirrel travel. It's a, it's a deck that I've always wanted to make, but not the, not the strongest setting. Like I said, there's only one card in there that I think is gonna be like worth uh, quite a bit. The mana rock one is cool. Um, Seb McKidden, damnation, you can't go wrong with that. The uh, Party Hard, Tread Harder, just wins all around, in my opinion. Wish it was foil, but what can you do? Uh, and then the Bob Ross, you just can't go wrong with the basic lands. You, you can't, you never can. Um, so with that being said, uh, we're, we're done with Secret Lair, right? There's no more, right? There's absolutely no more Secret Lairs. We're good. Right? We're never done. Ever, ever, ever. Wizards is gonna bleed us dry. Or at least content creators like me. Um, let me know in the comments below. Am I insane for doing this? Am I insane for literally purchasing one of every single secret layer? Sometimes two, like the Extra Life one, I got two. And I think the Black is Magic one, I got two of the foil ones because that soul ring phenomenal to fairy phenomenal um you know Teferi is just a stable card but am i crazy for purchasing one of every single one let me know down below uh, like i said again if you're new to the channel subscribe or like the video share it with your friends if there's something that you've been like oh man did you see that that you know that secret layer card uh and if you want to be informed about when we post videos when we do giveaways follow us on our twitter our instagram and also click the temple bell 
so that you can be notified of all of our going ons, at least in terms of video format. Uh, any other news that's worthwhile, we generally post it on Twitter. So it's just at Children of Alara. Once again, Planeswalkers, I've been me, you've been you. Stay classy, and I will see you on the next upkeep. Peace.